This is a, a cord. This 2.4 is an old 500 cord coupe. EX. So I'm doing the alternator. So what I did was use a 14. Go on this nut right here, and I had to bring it forward towards your body to get this belt off. And I got the belt off. Now, there's two bolts to move this power steering pump one right here on my finger, it's a size 12, and another one up under here size 12 and you got a bolt here for the alternator size 12 you got two bolts at the bottom of the alternator you see the holes the bottom ah. All right. two, two right there size 12 so three bolts hold the alternator I'm able to move this pump I take this boat off. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and do this shit. I'm taking the last boat from the bottom. I'm two bolts. Twelve long. Now I can move this. So note, I had to move this power stream reservoir off the bracket. You just lift up and move to the side. So I'm able to move this to the side and I can pull this alternator out, see? So once I pull it out, I take this, which is going to be a probably size 12 too. Or a 10, like it's gonna be a 10. I disconnect the battery, I gotta get it charged anyway. Always do before you mess with anything electrical. So if you, uh, this would be a size, it might be a size 12. Let's find out. No, it's a 10. So in this case you're going to need a 12 long socket and a number 10 socket and a 14 for the tensioner. That's it. 14, 12, and 10. So now I can just bring the alternator. I'm going to need two hands to do this. So I'm just letting y'all see you just move this to the side without taking this hose off. Because some people take their hose off or take this whole thing off. You got power steering, fluid all over the place. So if you just move it to the side and bring that alternator up out in that hole. And you got it. Quick, easy, simple. I don't talk too much. And it's an old 500 cord. And more videos to come. Thank you.